just hit 20,000 kilometers. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's so it's great. We basically we came through the Waga border. We just uh, we literally only 20k in from uh, the Waga border. We hit the 20. Yeah, very exciting. So, good start to Pakistan. Yeah. Now we're off to meet a guy named Salman Mushtaq in Sar Jaranwala. I think I'm saying it right. Yeah. Uh, basically on the other side of Lahore. Welcome to Pakistan. Oh shit. Bike down. Million people here. Thank you. Ah oh, shit. Okay, let's try that again without me dropping my bike. found um, Salman. Yeah, you did. And it turns out he's a really nice guy and has this really nice house. And now we feel a bit weird because... We don't really know what's going on. And we don't know what to do. We, we're trying to dress nice. <laughs> and the, we don't have many nice clothes. No. So. And then he's like, we're like, gosh, we can downstairs. Like, no, no, I'm no. bringing the food to your room. Yeah, okay. we're both wearing our... Trekking pants. Trekking pants to try <laughs> fit in a little bit because he really does have a nice place. And uh, he's gone out of his way. Again, we've just struck Again, gold. Yeah. We've just really struck gold. And he's gone out of his way to help us and we're staying in his house and uh, now we're doing nothing and just sitting around and he's bringing us food and we feel really awkward just yeah. sat in the room but um yeah anyway we'll give you an update soon yeah who knows what's about to happen okay let's just explain how we got here a few months earlier we were on facebook looking up different pakistan groups and we noticed this guy named salman who kept posting these incredible photos of uh everywhere around pakistan so we reached out to him to see if he could give us any advice on the different places we might be able to see. And in true Pakistan generosity, he told us that when we arrived, that we have to come stay at his house and that he would give us all the information we need. So that's what we did. He gave us the address. As soon as we crossed the border, we headed straight to Jaranwala to meet Salman. <laughs> What's going on here, James? Well, it's our second day in Pakistan and we're already having a, a little welcome party with our new friends. So we just got here, we've been given ice creams, crisps and UK. But Gemma, we got Coke, we've got... It's amazing. Hats, we've got, got hats. hats. <laughs> we've got new hats. We've got new hats as well. <laughs> this is, so yeah, this is, yeah we've, been, we've been very lucky to meet these guys and they just welcomed us to the country with, uh, with a cake and everything yeah. else. Okay, let's just pause it for a second. So this is Salman. He's the guy that's hosting us and now he's introduced us to all his friends. This is Mr. G, his mate that owns the shop they're in. Now some clap for these guys. You know. <laughs> You're welcome here in our city. Oh, we are very happy Thank to you. celebrating, you know, it's a welcome cake. Welcome cake. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so our welcome party is over. I don't know where we're going now. I think there's going to be a few welcome parties. Yeah, that was a welcome party. Phase one. one is done. <laughs> so we, got our, we got our hats and uh, it, like they even said, they go, oh, I'm sure you've seen the news, it's all the bad sides, but then you can just tell already how good this place yeah. really is. Yeah, amazing. So uh, we're off to a big for you. Oh, oh. It's a <laughs> bottle for a water you This guy, <laughs> Mr. G over here. <laughs> Hello. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. It's very hot over there. Yeah, so yeah. No, this, cold water this is fantastic. Thank yeah. you very much. And, Thank you, mate. Uh, thanks. To Thank nice you. Good to meet you. Hope, yeah. Hopefully, we see you again we see at some you point. Again, yeah, we have a good good time. You know, you yeah. came there. Thanks a lot, and hope we see you again. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Have oh, a good, good time over there. Wish you all the Thank best you. for Thank your you journey. Thank you very much. Almost. Oh, Thank you again. I've forgotten already. <coughs> Shush. Shukriya. 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 So, we've come to a particular farm, we'll show you that in a bit, but this is a 1,000 year old um, well. Check it out. So, these guys are doing that. So, 
we've come we've come to this farm in our hats in our hats well firstly before because some people might not be too stoked with this but basically in india you get what's called bung which is marijuana, marijuana. like they drink bung lassies which is milk and marijuana and it's it's a thing like it's it's legal it's fine and pakistan has it's similar. similar but it's called bunk 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 here yeah. sounds the same so this is a bunk farm so well, it's not even a farm i think they just yeah. grow their own trees so, so this is all you want to see Hey. Oh, okay. We're going to go see the big farm of the marijuana. Ones. These are the small ones, apparently. Whoa. <laughs> You're the, the big ones over there. So James, this one's bigger than you. So yeah, this one's bigger than me. And those ones over there are a lot bigger than me. I can't describe how many, how... Like, illegal this would be in our country. Yeah, A, illegal it would be for us, but also how many plants are there. There's everywhere. Do you like our hats? Okay, these are the big ones we're going to now. That's a weed. Bush. And all of this. <laughs> They're huge. Yeah. Go So this, I, I'll get it wrong, but this yeah. fire has been going for over a thousand years. And the group of men outside, we just saw it's their sole responsibility to make sure that this fire never goes out. So the local people here, it's very special for them, and they use the ash to, for like, if they're sick or if they've got any illnesses, they'll use this to cure them. And yes, yeah, it's a very spiritual, sacred uh, place in this village. But yeah, the, the guys outside, their one responsibility in life is to make sure this fire doesn't go out. It's like this, uh, quite small. A person come here at night and uh, meditate. Wow. It is a simple life out here. We have a cow, a little goat, a little fire that's been going for 1,000 years, a well that's been going for 1,000 years. Thank you. Well, that's a good one. I'll give it to him. Thank you. Some more? Right. So now we're at a strawberry farm. These are definitely not the parts of Pakistan that you hear about. No. Oh no, that's not a good one. That's a good one. I'll take it. Yeah. We had another little local farm. Again, this place is really cool. All like mud houses. They farm tobacco on that side. Corn on that side. Just feel very lucky to brought these kind of places I guess. Yeah, this isn't this is the kind of place we'd ever come. So unless you meet people like we've been so lucky to do, yeah. we just wouldn't be here. Definitely. Very fortunate. We have no idea what's going on either. It's like the best tour guide. But just going around, going the flow. Yeah. This was an unexpectedly great day. Not only was Salman letting us crash this house, but he also took the time out of his own day to show us around and you know give us a glimpse into the life of some of the local Pakistani people. So we're back at Mr. G's and we're just having some strawberry shakes now. <laughs> yeah. An amazing day. Uh, All right. Oh, that tastes good. That's really tastes good. good. Yeah. Mm. We did want to hang around a little bit longer, but we only had a couple days in Jaranwala. Uh, next stop, we're heading up to the capital, Islamabad. All right, after a very few shit days, yeah. today's been a good day. Uh, we actually haven't filmed much over the last few days. I was dying yesterday. I spent the good part of yesterday lying in bed feeling very sorry for myself. I won't get into the details because no one wants to know that. It's not pleasant. It wasn't yeah, good. James is there to witness some of it. Actually, most of it. Um, <clears throat> wasn't great. Then I woke up this morning, couldn't find my passport. <laughs> Freaked out because in that passport, I got the visas for all the other countries that we're going to. 
so that freaked me out. Um, and it's a Saturday, so I was trying to call the Turkish em Turk minister on embassies where I last had it uh, here in Islamabad, luckily. And I was uh, couldn't get hold of them, so I just rode down there, found it on their couch. So that was a that was a win. Um, and then, so the reason is a good day. A hey, got my got my passport, and we finally changed our tires. We've been carrying these bloody things since Darwin. Um, we we've been carrying them because we didn't think. The motor's tractionators were as good as they are. Were, are, as good as they are. Like I'll show you. Bring it up this way a little bit. So that's the GPS tractionator, motor's GPS tractionator. We've been, we've had it since Darwin, like we said, and we're in Pakistan now. We've done 20,000, probably More close to 21,000 yeah. kilometers on this. And if you look closely, there's still tread. And the reason we've been carrying these since Australia is because when we were going through Australia on these tires. They looked like they were getting eaten up so fast that we were worried we would struggle to find a decent tire in like Indonesia or Malaysia. Actually, Malaysia we would have, but Indonesia. So we literally carried these things for five months attached to the side of the bikes. So we're very happy, very excited <laughs> to finally have put these tires on our bikes. And it means we can chuck them away, don't have to carry anything else. Very happy. These are the Mitus, Mitus? Mitus or Mitus? Mitus, Mitus, EO7s. EO7s. So um, we love those tires. These have got, we've, I've never had this tire before, but everyone says they're great. We're gonna find out. And we're gonna find out because we are very excited. We're going to... We have another great news. We're off to the mountains and we're gonna yes. get some dirt roads, which we've been craving for ages. Yeah, don't get us wrong. Indonesia and all the other places have been great, but it's, it, we've basically just been on roads, visiting cool places, but and, now we're actually going. And we both loved India, but it gets tiring with the population. So yeah. we're just gonna do some camping, hit up the mountains, do some dirt roads. Very, yeah. very stoked. It was. Anyway, while we're actually here, we'll quickly do a little tour. Yeah. We want to shout out to Sana, who's, Look at this place. This is in the middle of Islamabad and check the space you have. It's fantastic. I know it's a bit dark, so hopefully you can see. Mm -hmm. So Sana has built this place. He had this property and he's basically built this little, you know, common area and a bathroom. And he's put the grass down here for campers and overlanders like us to come and just, you know, have a few days. And it's great because you've got this undercover area because it's stupid hot. So in the days, you, can, you know, during the day you can work on your bike and you've got Beautiful space here to camp. And at the back here, more beautiful space to camp. There's, you know, you can wash stuff in there. There's a room in there, there's a common room with a bathroom. The place is fantastic. So if you are uh, coming through Islamabad, definitely check this place out. We'll put a little link yeah. somewhere. We'll put the name, it's called Coyote Trails. He's a biker and an overlander. Like he, he goes up to the north. Actually, he wanted to come with us on our trip up north, but uh, he, he's hurt his knee. So, um, and, it's, and it's Ramadan at the moment, so we can't come. Anyway, very excited to be heading up north. We'll see you soon. Uh, James, are you finding the food in Pakistan? I, I don't know, we haven't really had any food in Pakistan. <laughs> Turns out we're uh, here in Ramadan. Um, yeah, it's, so it's May right now. So. It's May and basically from sunrise or sunset there is nowhere that sells food. Apart from little shops like this. McDonald's are even closed, McDonald's all the fast closed. food places, all the restaurants, everything are just shut. It's basically petrol stations or little shops. So we get like little Snickers bars and now we've got a loaf. Of so we got, we got some cake. I don't know what for our are. breakfast slash lunch. The other tricky thing is you're not really meant to eat it in front of um, Muslim people, uh, which makes it hard because there's a lot of people around. But what's also lovely but strange as well is people still come say hello to us and be like, would you like some food? And they'll go try to buy us food, but they yeah. can't eat themselves. So it's a bit awkward. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we can have our cake. But Chitral is not a Muslim. Oh, the, ke the Kalash people Kalash. are. So, so they drink and we're there for a festival and we should find food, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get some Apparently food. Apparently food's awesome over there. Yeah. All right. So yeah, we're going back to our cake and then press off. We've got about an hour left till we get to Deer. 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 Deer.
my sport. Ah, sure. Come behind me, you. Now this isn't just a regular police check. We did have no. to follow these guys into their little <laughs> bunker there. But you'll have to tune in for the next episode to find out what happened to us. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Next episode will be out really soon.